Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, ever since the Meta Humans came out, I have battled with this dilemma of not having any clothes for them. Matter of fact, this video I'm showing you right now is something that I uploaded in March 5th of 2021 because right away, I wanted to put my metahumans in a different outfit. All right, so about two years ago. And ever since making this video, honestly, nothing much has changed. It's still pretty difficult to get custom clothes onto a metahuman until, of course, today. Now, in this video, what I'm going to do is show you an app that's going to allow you to create clothes for your metahumans pretty simply. So let's go check it out. Now, just a disclaimer, this is a paid sponsorship ad, but as you all know, I only cover the best of the best in this channel. So let's go. Welcome to Meta Taylor. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to build an outfit for a MetaHuman and apply it in Unreal Engine. To start, I'm gonna open the MetaHuman app in the web browser, and I'm gonna build myself a character. I'm gonna remove all the clothes from the character as I don't need them because we're gonna be building an outfit in MetaTailor later. Next, I'm gonna open a blank Unreal project. I'm gonna open Quixel Bridge. I'm gonna to navigate to the avatar that I created. I'm gonna spawn him into scene and I'm gonna make sure to use 000 for its world coordinates as this is important for later. Next, I'm gonna click the MetaHuman, click File, Export Selected. Then I'm gonna find a place to save the FBX exported avatar so that I can import it into MetaTailor in the next step. Use these export options. We don't need LODs or morph targets. Now that I'm in MetaTailor, I'm gonna click import and I'm gonna click avatar. I'm gonna to navigate to the FBX MetaHuman and import it into the tool. These are the import steps. I don't need to actually import any textures if I don't want to, they're optional. I'm gonna hit next and it's gonna auto mark landmarks to the avatar. I can make minor adjustments if I need to. When I'm done, I hit next steps. Now I've imported my MetaHuman FBX. Again, I can click the avatar and add textures if I want. I went ahead and added textures so that you can see how they look in viewport. Next, I'm gonna hit content browser and browse through clothes. I'm gonna add these military style pants. Next, I'm gonna find a camouflage shirt. I like the shirt, but it seems a little too baggy for me. So I'm gonna use the FFD modifier to actually shorten the length of the shirt. Next, I'm gonna use the shrink wrap slider to give the shirt a better fit to the avatar. Then I'm gonna drag the shirt down a layer so that it tucks itself into the pants. Next, I'm gonna add a tactical harness over the shirt. Then I'll add a utility belt and I'm gonna bring it up so it's concentric to the vest underneath. And a tactical backpack. Then I'll add a scarf and I wanna drag the scarf down a layer underneath the backpack. I'm gonna add one more tight fitting scarf around the neck and I'm gonna drag it down a few layers so that it's really tight up against the neck. From here, I can begin adding accessories. I'll go ahead and add this smoke grenade and then I'll drag the smoke grenade down a few layers so that it is tucked underneath the belt. Look at how it procedurally layers in real time. Next, I'm gonna add a tactical holster. and a pistol to go in the holster. Finally, I'll add some boots, and then I wanna tuck these boots underneath the pants. In the end, I added a few more accessories to make the full outfit pop. From here, we can export our outfit directly back into Unreal Engine and target it to the MetaHuman. To do that, name your file, set PNG as the texture format, and uncheck avatar in your export settings. We just want the outfit for now. When export completes, it will open up the file save location in the file browser. Now that we've finished exporting from MetaTailor, we're gonna go back into Unreal Engine and open up Quixel Bridge and spawn in a fresh MetaHuman avatar. From there, open the content browser and create a new folder for our FBX outfit that we just created. Then we're gonna import the FBX outfit. In the FBX import options, I'm gonna actually target the skeleton to the MetaHuman. So I'm just gonna type in the MetaHuman name and see it pop up in the drop-down menu. 
I click the skeleton to actually have it applied in the skeleton tab. Next, I click import. Once import is complete, you should see the outfit and all of the materials inside of your content browser. To apply the outfit to the MetaHuman in scene, open up the blueprints. In the top left, click Add, and then search Skeletal Mesh. Then click to add the Skeletal Mesh to the avatar. Rename it to Close or whatever you'd like. In the right-hand side underneath Mesh is Skeletal Mesh Asset. Go ahead and scroll down and navigate to the outfit that you imported. Once you click it, it should apply itself directly to the avatar. Once the outfit is applied, you can begin bringing in the texture maps to add materials to your outfit. And that is how you use MetaTailor to build custom outfits for MetaHuman avatars. To try MetaTailor, visit metatailor.app and get started for free. All right, so I have been waiting for something like this to come out. And I have honestly seen a couple of beta from different companies. And it looks like this is probably the one that's almost ready to go because you can sign up for it and everything right now on the website. So once again, this is a huge deal because honestly, as you all know, MetaHuman, we haven't had any new clothing in there since when the shorts came out. Um, but I am super impressed with this. They just actually reached out to me a couple of days ago. But when I saw the product, I said, make a video tutorial on how to do it. I will, I will do this video for you because this, we needed this last year. But pretty excited about it. And what's cool about this is uh, they were telling me that it doesn't have to be just a metahuman. You can import any avatars in there. They actually showed me some animals that they rigged with some clothes, which is pretty insane. I don't know how this all works in the back. So it works with any avatars. doesn't have to be metahuman. And additionally, you can actually import your own clothes as well. So you don't have to use just the library that they have, which is pretty crazy, right? I am super excited about this. And yes, I will ask if they're going to make cyberpunk clothes because, you know, I'm going to be using that. And I mean, honestly, if this works as they are demoing it, this is going to be such a time and money saver. So with that being said, here is their website, metatailor.app. All right, so you saw the video. Let's check out the plants and pricing. They do have a free version, smart layer, auto fit, cross avatar, intro. I can't say that word. Full interactivity, uh, base tier, three slots. You can actually export FBX and import FBX with the free version. Interesting. For the pro version, you get dynamic accessories, updates, priority support, advanced mesh tools, limited commercial license. So for the free version, you can't use it commercially. Obviously, for the pro, it's $35 a month per seat. And then if I click on annual, it's 336. Now, let me put this into perspective. Okay. And like I said, I've been dealing with MetaHumans for as long as I can remember. Uh, $35 a month for clothing, rigged clothing is a steal. I'm telling you this right now. This is a month for $35 a month for clothes that are rigged for you metahumans. To me, this is a no effing brainer because $35, that's just an outfit plus rigging to a metahuman Plus, you got to wait. Plus, you have to see if they did it right. Incredible stuff. And again, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for something like this to be out. And I'm super, super stoked about it. Uh, you can sign up for this right now if you want to. But man, I'm going to be watching this closely. I think they are going to send me a beta to play around with. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you all think. I want to know your opinion on this. So you all know I like talking, y'all. Let's talk about it in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. They're going to be reading your comments as well. Bring up some concerns and, you know, maybe say what you want to see with this product right here. That being said, that's all I got for you all right now. That's Meta Taylor app. I'll see you all later.